What are your thoughts on women using things like melatonin, magnesium, L-theanine seems to be a, a very popular one. Like, do you think that that's helpful or is it placebo or? I think ultimately sleep is a pillar of health, right? And chemically induced is not great, but ultimately it's also better than nothing. So if you could, I mean, if you think of it in that respect, then maybe it's still something that you should take because at least you're getting some sleep. But I think the key thing is to try and avoid habitual use. So we hear that melatonin is not a habit forming thing, but I think that's misleading because whenever you take anything habitually, your body adapts to having it there. So the receptors in your brain will adapt to having large amounts of melatonin, right? And then when the nights that you don't take it, you won't be able to sleep because your brain has adapted to having those large amounts there. So if you do take melatonin, recommendation there would be to keep your dose low, under three milligrams, and to use it sporadically. Um, I see a lot of supplements on the market which have like five or 10 milligrams, which is just nuts because anything more is going to be so super physiological, so like so high above what our body is used to, that it's just going to accelerate the rate that our brain adapts to having it there. So it's going to make it so difficult to ever sleep without it. So if you're taking more than that, taper it down um, and just try and keep it something that you use sporadically. 